I never thought I would live to see these in America. Millions of illegal immigrants, 99 genders to confuse our kids, soaring inflation, criminals walked free. Like many hardworking legal immigrants, I came to America for a better future. Once I have children, I work even harder so they can have a better future. Politics was not something that concerned me. But the last few years opened my eyes and I strongly feel that America is heading in the wrong direction. And then my children's future doesn't look better. After extensive reading and reflecting, I realized that America is in dire need of competent leadership. We all face a choice on November 5th to determine the fate of this great nation, Harris or Trump. Both sides believe if the other candidate wins, this will be the last election in America. To whom do we cast the vote? Sorry, Harris, you said that on day one, you would make the promised changes to make America safe, affordable, and the law abiding. But your day one was almost four years ago. Your failed policies have opened the floodgate to increase the crimes, high inflation, and the millions of illegal immigrants. The joy you promised in your campaign does not pay for bread, milk, gas, and eggs. Your joy didn't prevent the murder and rape by the illegal immigrants, nor reduce taxpayers' burden to settle or house them. Instead, your joy has attacked our wallets, assaulted our hearts, and insulted our common sense. I'm sorry, President Trump. I didn't enjoy your big mouth and mistakes you made before. But I also know that God never chooses a perfect man to be the leader of a nation. Your actions have always spoken much louder than your words. You love America more than your own life. You are willing to die to make America great again. It doesn't matter if we like you. Your actions in fighting through countless legal battles, enduring slanders, and even assassinations have warned skeptical people repeatedly. You have turned Butler, Pennsylvania, into a holy site of American democracy with your fearlessness, resilience, and defiance. When facing political assassinations that should never belong to this great country, Therefore, dear voters, we're not just voting for Trump. We're also voting for a safer country, a healthier nation, and a better economy. We are voting for the First Amendment, freedom of speech, and no government censorship. We are voting for the Second Amendment to protect ourselves and our families. We are voting for American citizens and legal residents over illegal immigrants. We are voting for quality education for our children, not indoctrination of pronouns and ideologies. We are voting to protect children from human trafficking, pedophiles, and fentanyl flooding our nations from open borders. We are voting to make America healthy again. America has seen a drastic increase in the number of autistic children and the need for special education. Our food is not only unhealthy, but also unsafe. We are voting to make America safe again. We are voting to make the world peaceful again. We are voting to uphold the U.S. Constitution and the Republic. We are voting to uphold meritocracy and the American dream for all. We are voting because we, the people, are endowed by our Creator with certain unalienable rights that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. 
and the governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. We don't have to like Trump to vote for his policies and solid records to make America truly great again. The truth always hurts. I have learned that a big mouth always spills truth, but tough love is what matters, and the truth is what prevails. And no smear campaign or propaganda can conceal the truth forever as long as we are tough enough to get through the surface of personality to seek the facts and truth. Personality over policy is the ultimate formula for destruction and disasters of a nation. A 12-year-old told me this loud and clear. We still have hope. More and more eyes have been opened. And when we cannot weed through the weeds of conflicting media and propaganda, and when we are buried with slogans and emotions, let's find a quiet place called common sense and ask ourselves without bias, which candidate's policies align more with our values and the beliefs? President Trump, Thank you for taking a bullet and thank you for taking a stand to make America great again. We need to make America safe again. We need to make America healthy again. We need to make America affordable again. You have my early vote to be the 47th President of the United States of America. Thank you.